First, we need to make a proper measurement from the fence rest to the blade. Once the fence rest is in the right place, set a pencil line as a marker. Adjust the rear plate like it's your boyfriend or girlfriend, nice and personal. Lift the rest to the top so it's out of the way. Line up your piece, edge, so that way there's a small leftover scrap. Here's another angle. After checking your pieces away from the blade, flip the dial to on. Push the edge of your piece against the front fence until the entire piece is pushed past the blade. Slide the table back and set your measured rest down. Turn your piece so the newly cut side rests against your measured rest and the fence. Push your piece through the saw again, making sure to pass all the way past the saw blade. Be sure to turn the machine off. Here's a good way to test how well you glued up your board. Scrap pieces do have their uses. We use the sliding saw to cross cut large panels or sheets. It works like a panel saw going horizontally. The machines are named after what we are cutting them on. We cut boards on a panel for the panel saw and we cut material on a sliding table with the sliding table saw.